Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. Now, it was a gloomy day through most of the afternoon as we saw that increased cloud coverage. Just the past couple of hours, we saw a little bit more clearing, going to break from those clouds, but it's not going to last all that long because as we're starting to see on satellite and radar, more of those clouds moving in from the west. We've seen some showers up in the Texas Panhandle. In fact, a couple severe thunderstorms out towards the Amarillo area, but otherwise, most of the state of Texas has been fairly quiet. Again, we've been seeing a little bit of a break. We saw some clearing in the past couple of hours, but now starting to see another round of some of those clouds building in towards our area. That's going to continue to be the trend to seeing those clouds increase as we go through the overnight hours. That's going to help to keep us a little bit warmer. Temperatures not going to drop all that much because of the increased cloud coverage. 70s, we see a swath of them for right now across the area. Brady, Eden, El Dorado, Mertzen, Ozona as well. Sonora all sitting at 70 degrees right now. So again, some pretty comfortable temperatures if you're headed out for anything this evening. Again, 71 in downtown San Angelo. Dew points in the 50s. Those winds have died down just a bit out of the southeast at 7 miles per hour. So again, we've seen a little bit of a break from those breezier conditions that we saw during the afternoon hours. Winds in the single digits for the most part. As we go into tomorrow, though, we'll start to see those winds pick back up out of the south. Tonight, temperatures dropping down into the mid-60s. Still could see some of those breezier conditions. Not nearly as breezy as what we saw this afternoon. Again, seeing that increased cloud coverage, that's going to help to keep us warmer through the overnight hours as well. And then tomorrow, again, seeing that increased cloud coverage, temperatures are going to warm up into the 80s. Could see an isolated shower or storm. I think best chances are going to be for the northern parts of the Concho Valley up in towards the I-20 area. We'll be most likely to see it. Otherwise, most of us will be staying dry and just seeing that cloud coverage, very similar to what we saw today. As we continue through the next couple of days, winds will continue to pick up during the afternoon hours. Could be gusting at 25, even 30 miles per hour. And then as we get into Friday, we start to see it turn more from the west and southwest. That means drier air is starting to make its way in towards our area. That's going to increase that fire weather watch as we go in towards Friday, specifically during the afternoon hours. We'll see again that increased humidity overnight, but during the afternoon, we see those low humidity values as those winds increase from the west and southwest. And that's why we have fire weather watches in place Friday from 1 p.m. until 8 p.m. for the western parts of the Concho Valley. And we'll be watching for those drier conditions. Looking ahead for our next chance of some significant rain again, here's what I was talking about with the isolated shower for us on Thursday. We stay dry going in towards the weekend with temperatures bouncing back into the 90s. And then as we get into Sunday, an upper level trough make it, makes its way through our area. That could generate some showers and storms in through parts of western Texas and we could see some of those showers and storms here in the Concho Valley as well. So that's going to be our next chance of some significant rainfall. Otherwise, we're going to be a relatively quiet for this weekend. Temperatures warming up into the 90s, so getting back to above average. Then Sunday, that's what we're going to be keeping our eyes on for our next best chance of rain with breezy conditions going into the beginning of next week.